Hey everybody, it's Mickwood. I have to check my time because I just got my laptop back. Okay, fine enough. And I've made two videos that are over the 10 minute limit and so I can't upload them because I don't have a separate camera and blah blah blah, technophobe. Um, I quickly would like to ask anybody that knows anything about software issues. Um, I just got this laptop with the built-in camera fixed by the geeks who did not give me any kind of printout or anything. They just said, oh, well, we fixed it and we tuned it up. It's fine. And it is. It's great. But um, I never know what caused the original problem. Um, is there any way to figure that out? They said it was a software issue. It happened at my mother-in-law's when I was in Massachusetts. Um, but I would you know, so how do I ever prevent it from happening again? So that's the first issue. Second issue is, go to ralphloren.com. This is for, you know, I don't think most of the guys are going to care, but this towel is huge. It's 50 by something. It's a regular bath towel under their bath section in ralphloren.com. It was $9.99, Egyptian cotton. It is, the colors are saturated. It is so soft and absorbent. It's the nicest towel I've had in 20 years. <laughs> And um, I got it for, it was $9.99 and then 15% off that. And I've been so thrilled that I got these gorgeous towels for this cheap money. So if anybody's interested, go do that. Um, third thing is, I haven't been on here for over a month. I wanted to say hi to new subs. I um, have gotten, I think, many of them um, by way of new j -Row. Man, woman, you are popular. You get around. So, um... I wanted to thank you for that. Um, a lot of people I've never met. Um, being on YouTube is a really personal kind of thing for me. Um, and so I'd like to get to know you. I mean, I'd like to talk with you. So, you know, let me know who you are and how you are. And um, I don't know if the new layout, you're even going to see these because I've missed a lot of things in the past few days with YouTube's wonderful new changes again. YouTube, Google, I mean, I'm on here. I'll use them for everything they have while they're here, but boy, did they piss me off. I mean, it, and I feel out of the loop normally because I'm kind of, you know, I guess I hate to call myself a dumb blonde, but I just attend to different things. So every time I get on here, I'm like, what the hell happened now? It's always something. But anyway, um, it, you know, I hope this is a good fit for you. Um, subbing to me because um, I'm kind of um, I'm a watcher um, I know that dramatic really opinionated people make for a very interesting and excellent channel um, and you're not gonna get that here <laughs> excuse me um, I kind of uh, subscribe to the to the opinion that um, I learn from watching other people, and sometimes I'm entertained by very strong or angry people. Um, but a lot of the times I have to lay off that stuff because I notice that it pollutes my my vibe, man. So, um, uh, you know, I like to toss things around. I'm not going to tell you how to think or what to believe. Um, I may give you some opinions and, and things. But mostly, um, I really like my friends here. So, um, you know, if you stay, that's great. I'd like to get to know you. So, um, so thanks, New j -Ro. You're the bomb, baby. The other thing I'd like to say is to Jack Luck 4, because I, with this new layout, I missed her Mother's Day uh, video, which I just watched yesterday. And... Um, uh, Mother's Day uh, pisses me off. <laughs> Not for my own mother, but, um, you know, it just kind of pisses me off that somebody's going to have to go and get a card for me and say, oh, thank you, really great mother. You know, it cheapens the whole thing. So Jack LaFour made a Mother's Day video, and she kind of took a, the origins of Mother's Day and the history of it and talked about women and why they originally started Mother's Day, the idea behind it, the philosophy behind it in the first place. And it just really inspired me. This is the videos I like. Not just bitching about things. Yeah, we know things suck in the world right now and they're going to get a lot worse, hopefully, because they got to get really shitty before they're going to get better. So um, hopefully we'll be 
you know, strapping in for the bumpy ride because this stuff's got to change. But I like people that tell you, that, that, that lead you in a direction to be empowered and proactive and, and, and do something rather than just saying, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, we know it sucks. If you're somewhat self-informed, if you're awake at all, you know it sucks. You know, you know dumb. Um, so anyway, her video is really kind of inspirational to me, and that's how I'm going to be celebrating Mother's Day for other mothers. Um, hopefully in my community, um, women who do something exceptional um, for their families or for, uh, you know, for service people or for someone else, because um, I think it's a very powerful thing to have somebody out from outside of your system step in and say, hey, you did a really great job with this. I think that's a really cool thing. So that's, I'm going to kind of see if I can pick and pick some people um, coming up for next spring to to even just recognize, write them a note, something personal. Um, and so that's my take on that. So that's Jack Luck's video. I did the towel. I did the, oh. Um, and then the other thing is, I've been thinking about doing this video um, because of my beliefs. Um, I don't like to label myself. I, I'm involved in the atheist community um, a lot of because um, I find very intelligent people there. Um, I don't know if I could call myself an atheist because I do believe there's some kind of creative force. I think I've spoken about that before, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's organic, if it's, you know, uh, I don't know what it is. So um, I'm not into labels. I get labeled too often myself and it pisses me off. I'm not a stupid blonde soccer mom. Um, I may, I play one on TV, but I'm not actually, and, um, you know, don't limit me. There's a lot more that you see than what you get, you know, what you see in the surface. There's a lot more, um, to everybody. So, um, but anyway, my point was that I'm a big Stevie Wonder fan, and he has a song called Ten Zillion Light Years Away, and it is about, uh, you know, however you believe, um, and I respect all beliefs. I may not necessarily like organized religion. I don't need no stinking little man. But um, I don't even, I can't even tell you, you know, if God exists. But the idea of God, that, that beautiful idea of this, this purity and this, I really believe that we shouldn't be giving the power outside of ourselves. If God or Jesus shows up one day, yahoo, great. Hey, come on in, I'll cook you dinner. Um, but, you know, until then, don't place a power outside of yourself. Um, have the idea of God in your heart or who you believe God to be. Um, you know, going to church one day a week and being an asshole the rest of the week ain't going to do much. Um, I, I kind of uh, believe in the Buddhist idea that, you know, we couldn't even begin to take in with our eyes or anything who, what God is. Um, God, we're constantly, by trying to define God, we limit God, and I think that God is limitless, if there is a God, or creation, that creational aspect. Um, so, um, anyway, this song, I love to sing. I usually sing in the shower, in the car, with my kids, and sometimes just to embarrass them. Um, but I really like this song. It's kind of low for my register, but um, it's so meaningful that I might grow a set and record it and actually just let it go unless I'm too humiliated but we'll see um, so that's that and then the other thing come here is um, we're just gonna come here this is Flomar I think um, for people who have never met Flomar he's my shelter dog we got him a year ago last February and he's my baby so we're just gonna say goodbye we're gonna go out and walk yeah I'm gonna go out and walk yeah. And um, have a really great day. Peace out, guys. Bye.